Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth. So viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird, in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Welcome, uh, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, where the fun never ends. This idea was created and crafted by my wonderful friend, Imperfectly M. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, except we call upon the images as if we are playing bingo. We have a couple of adult libations, and we just talk smack, and it's great. If you were ever interested in wanting to play this at home, you can. Everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And with that said, here are the possible makeup products that we may or may not be talking about today. Here's my trusty bingo card. Without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers, y'all. The air is ripe for some air horns. <laughs> I'm sorry for all my headphone swearers. Um, I hate me too. What we're drinking today is Gamer Sup's Grandpa's Ashes. No joke, that is an actual flavor. <laughs> and it's delicious, which I, ugh, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> but I mean, did we expect any less? No. And I'm having it with a little bit of vodka because you know, vodka just makes the world go round. I don't know, this week kind of sucks, but let's just jump into it. Okay, so I think I talked about this one in the past, but now we have the full collection. And this is from Huda Beauty. And this is actually coming out on 11, 11, 11, I was about to say, no, November 1st. So if you are going to be partaking in the, I was about to say Huda Beauty sale. The fuck am I talking about? Sephora sale. <laughs> If you were interested in partaking in that sale, that's when you should go pick this up. Wait, actually, hold on. Is it launching just on Huda Beauty or is it launching everywhere? I, I don't know. That's a great question. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I think it's launching everywhere, but if it's not, that kind of sucks because the whole idea was to, you know, purchase like large ticket items for, uh, you know, at least 10 to 20% off. Here's hoping that it does launch everywhere because I obviously want to like, I don't know, not spend full price for it. I don't think anybody wants to. Even if it is worth it, I don't want to. In this Pretty Grunge collection, you have the limited edition Pretty Grunge Blush Gloss. A peach balance determines your shade. Oh, bitch. That that sounds like it's going to wreak havoc and I cannot wait to try it. <laughs> then we have the limited edition black liquid matte lipstick and lip contour. I'm good. I'm all set. I don't need that. Then you have the limited edition black silk balm. I'm good. And then we have the travel set nudes liquid matte lipsticks, which you know, that sounds good, but I think I'll pass because I am like a ride or die for Urban Decay Vice liquid lipsticks. So I'm all set there. So obviously the things that I want to get 
is the palette and that stupid weird fucking blush that I cannot wait to see what color pink will show up on me. So I'm excited for this. This looks good. Is this boring? Is this basic? Yes, it is. And I did see um, Makeup Just for Fun, Amanda. I saw her post this like little video of it. Let me see if actually it's still available. And I don't know, she's selling it more so than this fucking picture. So I was like, ooh, ooh, bitch, this looks pretty. Now granted, does it look similar to a lot of the palettes that have been coming out lately? Absolutely, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I love a cool tone basic bitch moment. So here's hoping that it's fun. Oh, ew, wait a second. Is there a cream shade in this bitch? Amanda, please comment. <laughs> Is that a cream shade? I don't know, one looked really kind of wet. I don't know, we're gonna have to do a deeper dive on this, but either way, is this a grungy palette? Not really. I don't consider black and like silver or like metal shades like really grunge. I, when I think of grunge, I think of like, um, that one. <laughs> Um, no, uh, fucking, uh, subculture, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that palette called? Subculture from ABH. I think that's a good grunge. That's a fun grunge palette. Something that has like earthy colors, that's my picture of grunge. This is another alien palette, okay? This, this is like on the same level of Natasha Denona, which by the way, I think my palette is almost here, which I cannot wait to see because everybody's pictures are so vastly fucking different from that palette. I'm a little nervous, but also really excited that if it is trash, I get to read it to Phil. <laughs> Anyway, I like this. It's boring, it's basic, it's fun looking, kind of looks a little wet, and I'm into it. <laughs> it's a little sexy, I like it. All right, with that said, <laughs> I'm gonna call this, put it on my motherfucking face. Next. Okay, I really like these, and I like that they're available now because I kind of want to pick some of them up, but then I see the price and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> And I kind of hope that maybe they might be in Sephora, but I have a feeling they won't be. <laughs> okay, so Westman Atelier. I don't know why I have to say it like that, but I feel like if I just say Westman Atelier, it sounds horrible, so I have to say Westman Atelier. So anyway, <laughs> doesn't this just sound like a fancy dog? All right, um, <laughs> Rhapsody in White. <laughs> it's Westman Atelier. Okay, I need to. I I need a timeout. So there are several different holiday sets and I had a silly day, what can I say? <laughs> there are several different holiday sets that kind of range from like either 75 to 160. Actually the cheapest one is $45, not too shabby. <laughs> And then of course, if you want the mini petite brush collection, it's 350 bucks, which I'm sorry. For four brushes, $350? That shit better be made out of gold. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Because even with Sonya G's brushes, they're not 350. They're five. <laughs> No, that's, that's really high. I say no to that one. But the other sets still look kind of fun. <laughs> I think I like the one that is probably the $160 set, I think. So you have the Light Up Highlight Stick. You have the Baby Cheeks Powder Blush and Petal Power. I'm sorry, Petal Powder, not Power. And then you have Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm and Squeaky Nectar. And then I thought it was a bag, it's a box. So maybe that's, I think I just like the powder and I like the pan embossing on it. That looks cool. It's kind of giving refer vibes you know maybe it's just like the photos because you know how sometimes refer when anytime they have stock photos it's always next to like some shapes this was this is reminding me of a little bit but beyond that it has nothing to do with it it's just that one stock photo of like the fun little red ball that's it it's giving me refer <laughs> I'm like, this kind of looks like it hmm. I looked over at the swatches and I kind of really love it now Oh, I like it, but it's $160. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot. For three fucking product, that's a lot. But I mean, I've been a good girl this year. <laughs> But it's a lot, I don't know. So anyway, so then you have a trio set color for 75. You have the contour stick, a highlight stick, as well as a blush stick in petal, which that is the one that I have. Actually, I have a couple of Westman Atelier products. I really do like them, they're fun. They're, but they're not like my most favorite luxury brand of all time. They are definitely on the expensive side for sure. But I've always had fun with their products. I never not really liked something from them, but also, I don't necessarily think maybe that they're worth the price because I haven't really jumped up <laughs> to go get something. Now I take that back. Their skin tint thing was pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, that was fun. 
Okay, all right. I don't know. I'm kind of fighting myself here a little bit. But anyway, the three stick set for 75 bucks, I like how that looks. So I think if I were to get something, maybe I would lean towards that one because 160 is so fucking much. I don't know. I can't. And then you have another three stick set, which pretty much looks like it's dedicated for those that have like medium to deeper skin. Well, the first set looks like it's for uncooked chicken. Um, okay. All right. That's not bad. Yeah, I kind of like it. Fuck. Ooh, it comes in a fun box. Fuck. I gotta think about this. I gotta marinate on this one because it's a lot of money. And again, if it's something that's gonna be coming to Sephora, <laughs> absolutely, like that's when I wanna strike. The thought of having to spend full price on it <sighs> makes me a little sad. And I don't like that. I don't like being a sad bear. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I like it, but I'm not in love with it where I feel like it's even a drunk purchase necessarily. I even think drunk me would be like, are you sure about this bitch? <laughs> And I have purchased stupider shit for more, for sure. But this, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know about this, Tim. I think what I can call this is we can't escape the holiday bullshit because we can't escape it. And um, yeah, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. But I like it. And watch by the end of this video, I'll probably will purchase it. Next. Uh huh. We have another milk cosmetics collection. Uh <laughs> If you didn't know, I just, I don't like Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I just hate that people assume that I like it. Which is the stupidest reason, I know. Trust me, I know. But anyway, I saw this and at first I was like, isn't this the same thing that they just launched? Granted, the makeup bag looks different as well as the blush and highlight product. But everything else kind of looked the same. Um, and I was like, oh, didn't you come out with this? So for me, this is very same shit new packaging, especially the palette. But then when I looked and realized that there was another palette, I was like, oh, I hate this equally. <laughs> But I will say though, I think what speaks to me are three things in this collection, which I mean, surprising some maybe, or no, actually surprising nobody. What am I even fucking saying? Surprising nobody. Makeup bag. Look at that makeup bag. It looks fun. It looks fun. I saw there was like some video or whatever on Melt Cosmetics, like they did a little Instagram reel and the bag looked cute. And even though I am not someone that fucks with Nightmare, I about to say Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. I can appreciate a good makeup bag when I see one. And this one looks fun. There's something about it that looks fun and it also looks big and it looks like you could put a bunch of shit in there. So I'm actually, dare I say it, I'm actually gonna pick this up. I know, I know. <laughs> now the other products that look good is, oh, never mind, never mind. I thought there was an eyeliner. It looks like it's two glitter eye gels. No, I'm all set. I thought it was an eyeliner because I was like, ooh, I love their eyeliners. And actually what I plan on picking up during the Sephora sale is going to be the eyeliners from <laughs> the first Nightmare Before Christmas launch because those colors look so fucking good. And I just, I love Melt. I love Melt's eyeliner formula. It's so good. But I'm curious to see about the Cream Duo Highlight and Blush. I think it's interesting, but also I feel like it could be a touch messy. So I'm kind of curious to see how this will all shake out. Oh, wait a second. Oh my God, wait a second. Hold on. Can I I pick this up now? Shh, hold please, hold please. Oh no, you dumb fuck. Okay. <laughs> so if you were, fuck you, that is such bullshit. Okay, that makes me so mad. So I was hoping to just, you know, jump on the website because I realized that they have um, a password and it's Sandy Claus. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, you know what? Let's see if we could just do some moderately drunk shopping, right? Not even tipsy at this point, but let's see if we could just, I don't know put our credit card information in there. Um, but unfortunately, no, you, it comes only as a full set. Fuck that. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. I'll pass. As much as I want the makeup bag and as much as my body yearns and craves for it, everything else is kind of like, uh, and for how much was it? $165. You can eat my ass. I'm good. I'm all set. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> Fuck that. But I will be on the lookout to see if maybe uh, things will be sold. Se if, uh, things will probably be sold separately, maybe in a couple of days from now, but I'm just being a little crabby. So I will um, shut the fuck up about it. Just go on my day. <laughs> But uh, we'll call the same shit new packaging because I honestly, when I saw it, I was like, isn't this the same thing that you just fucking put out? It's the same shit, but just new packaging slightly, just maybe, maybe a little bit like a touch. I don't know. I'm not into it, but kind of into it at the same time. I hate myself. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Next. Daddy! Daddy! All right. So we have ColourPop. I know some people were like, hey, we still like your air horns. Fine. <laughs> Can I tell you, I belly laughed and I felt like Santa for a second, which is so apropos for this collection. All right. <laughs> ColourPop 
Cosmetics is re-releasing their Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Collection. Everything old is new again. I remember this came out, what was it, la was it last year? No, maybe the year before. It was definitely within the last few years of me reviewing makeup and shit on my channel. I did not pick up anything from this collection because I think I remember seeing it and being like, what the fuck? Did I, or maybe I actually, do, do I have it? Oh please, oh please. LOL, I had a panic because I was like, oh my God, did I really have this? <laughs> Goes to show how much makeup I have. That's horrible. Anyway, so Daddy's re-releasing this and it's already out. So if you are interested, go check it out. Um, but I remember when this first came out, I don't think I was into it. And guess what? I'm still not into it. It's fine. I think it's like probably the most basic, basic fucking <laughs> Christmas collection ever to be made. I don't know. I, it, it's kind of giving me Kylie Cosmetics a little bit. There's just no imagination. I do love the packaging. I think that's really cute. Oh. Blue. I'm kind of oh look at the polka dotted elephant he's my favorite <laughs> Out of all those little misfits, he was my favorite. Um, I kind of now just want the lip products just because of the packaging. You know, I could literally just Google a picture of the polka dotted elephant and just be happy with it. Why do I need to purchase this? <laughs> but it would make baby Teresa very happy. All right, maybe I'll think about it. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, when I see all of this, I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. not really into it. Although, is that like a barrette? A barrette? Who has said a barrette? I can't tell you the last time I said barrette. This is fucking 1992. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I think that's like a little headband or a little clip, a hair clip, and I kind of love that. And I kind of want the hair clip. Can I just get the hair clip and the cardboard packaging? I'm good about everything else. Like I don't need shit. But anyway, this is kind of giving me Kylie Cosmetics vibes, you know, because she's so innovative for the holidays. <laughs> oh goddamn. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like a pass. But it's interesting though that they're actually restocking something. I feel like they don't do that very often at all. If anything, it's like instead of restocking something that potentially people could buy, they wind up making collaborations that nobody really asked for. Anyway, I don't know. This is a, uh, maybe it's a slow day in the assembly line. <laughs> I don't know why we got this holiday collection. I'm trying to think what has ColourPop's holiday collection, what have they done in the past? They have released so much shit that everything's a blur. Let me know down below what has been, if you remember any of the ColourPop holiday collections. I can't think of a single fucking one. Maybe this is it. Maybe this was it. All right. Yeah, I still don't want it. <laughs> I don't know. There's just nothing like interesting about the palette. And uh, I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, dad. But like sometimes you just come up with some basic boring bullshit. And I'm just like not into it. So I'm going to pass. Actually, it's funny. ColourPop. I got a ColourPop delivery the other day. And I was sure as shit that it was going to be this collection. But it wasn't. It was a bunch of new holiday collections that I think are going to be available at Target. Some of them actually look pretty fucking cool. I know I feel like an asshole because I should be showing them to you, but it's downstairs and I just don't feel like getting up. <laughs> I'm just going to be real here. But some of them have like the five pan palette, kind of like a la Natasha Denona, but then they pair it with an eyeliner. It's actually kind of cute. Some of the shit I was like, all right, bitch. Okay. I actually kind of like that. So if you're in Target and you see that, I kind of recommend checking that out. They're really cute and they actually kind of look nice for like a stocking stuffer. Uh, this, yeah, I'll pass. I'm not into it. All right. <laughs> Daddy, it's always a pleasure. I hope to see you next week and I hope it's much better. Next. This is really cute. So this is from the brand In Beauty Project, which I have tried some of their stuff before. Hold on, I'll tell you what exactly I tried. Yes, 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 yes. I have tried a lot of their skincare stuff. Keep It Clean, super good. The Green Machine Serum was also great. The Slushy, the Face Glaze. I think the one thing I have not tried, and I've been meaning to try for quite some time, has been their Lip Glaze. And so when I see this, I think it's so cute. Granted, I don't like soda. I'm not a soda person. I don't like the carbonation. It scares me. It burns my... <laughs> I was about to say it burns my sensitive palate, but it does because I'm like such a baby. I only like soda if I can put alcohol in it. Like if I'm somewhere and like they don't have any sort of mixers that I like, I'm like, I guess I'll do like a Diet Coke. Ugh. Like I, I fucking hate soda. I really do. So seeing this is actually kind of cute because I've seen the brand Poppy before. Although is Poppy the probiotic soda company or something like that, right? Aren't they the like healthy soda sh or what the, what am I I thinking of poppies i think it's the pr probiotic or something or am i just like making this shit up i think i'm making no i'm not making this shit up <laughs> wait no 
No, are they? May support gut health by diversifying the gut microbiome and providing fuel for good bacteria. Ooh, it's prebiotic fiber, okay. Oh no, 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 insulin is a prebiotic. Oh, wait, what is in here? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? But wait a second, poppy soda reduces IBS, bloating, gassiness, heartburn. What the fuck? Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a prebiotic soda with gut health. Okay, I remember seeing this a long time. Was it like Stop and Shop or something like that? I don't. There was some fucking company that just kept trying to give us free samples of it. I want to say it was Stop and Shop. I could be making that up entirely. I feel like it was. Stop now I feel like I'm gaslighting myself. I don't remember anything. Editing Alex here. I have no idea what she's talking about. Are these memories implanted? Okay, anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, so Poppy, um, the soda company, is doing a fun collaboration with M Beauty Project. And this looks cute. This looks really cute. This is something I'd probably pick up if I saw it in store. I don't think I would go out of my way to get it because I'm, you know, I don't fuck with soda that much, but like it's, it's cute, but like it's not cute enough to go directly to the website and pick it up. If I saw this on an end cap somewhere, kind of like Sap and Shop. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps going back to supermarkets, but it does. But anyway, if I saw it on an end cap somewhere, I'd be like, oh, cute. I would like put it in my cart. So that's the level of where I'm at. Maybe I need that on <laughs> my bingo card. Like if I saw this in an aisle of a Stop and Shop or whatever store is by you. Actually, I should say Publix now, right? I have an allegiance to Stop and Shop. I can't help it. Anyway, but I do love pub subs. What the fuck am I even saying? I like it. I don't love it. <laughs> I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but if I saw it in the corner of my eye of a store, I'd pick it up. I don't think I can call that anything on my makeup card except a food theme makeup product, and this is a food theme makeup product. I like it. Usually I feel like I have kind of like shit to say about like food makeup releases, but I think this actually makes sense, and I think it's kind of cute, and I think it's done well, and it's not like an eyeshadow palette, right? It's a lip product, and I feel like that's the, the closest thing you can get to a drink. So. It makes sense. And again, I would buy it, but I'm just not gonna go out of my way for it. <laughs> okay, food theme makeup product, next. Oh, I love this. And I love this because of the bag. <laughs> oh, it's a good price. <gasps> oh, beach. Uh, oh. Okay, so the next product is something that I wanna get because I think it's so cute. So this is from Peach and Lily and it looks like an adorable makeup bag and little wristbands and I think it's fucking great. I think it's perfect for skincare. Oh, that looks so good. I love me a puffy makeup bag. It's so cute. And it looks like the quality of this is gonna be like that nice soft like North Face jacket material and I love it. I also love the zipper pull. It says Peach and Lily on it. This is cute. For 25 bucks, I feel like this is fairly priced. Your puffy portable everything bag. The peach puff everything bag is the perfect touch to store all your glass skin favorites at home and on the go. Crafted with a lightweight quilted nylon in our very own signature peach pop color, branded rubber zipper, and peach and lily logo. Spacious enough for all your essentials, yet compact enough for your carry-on. This must-have bag lets you keep all your glass skin goodies close and adorably puffy style. I love this. I want this. Give it to me now. Um, is this coming out anytime soon? Can I? Ah, it's available now. Shh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch it not be available. And I'm gonna be kind of sad because I want another makeup bag. <laughs> I just love me a makeup bag. I can't have, ah, ooh, can I get 15% off of it? Absolutely, bitch, sure. Here's my email address. Here's my social security number. Just get me that 15%. Thank you. Um, I don't see it on their website and I'm a little scared. Do they sell out? I love Peach and Lily. I think they make some fantastic products. I'm just gonna look up fucking makeup bag. What am I doing? I'm trying to act calm. I can't act calm right now. Um, I don't see a bag. <laughs> I don't see a bag. Huh. Okay. Huh. <laughs> uh, I'm sad. What the fuck? Peach and Lily, come on, bro. Isn't it called, what's it called? Puffy, puff everything bag? Puff the magic dragon, puff everything. Not a puff pastry. What the fuck, Google? Okay, okay. How, how much? Oh, phew, phew. oh I was scared. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, no, where's my baby? Okay, I'm... I'm gonna, all right, I need to focus on this right now. I need to go buy it. Um, but, uh, no, I could wait. It could wait. <laughs> it could wait. It could wait. I could, w I could wait. It could wait. I could wait. No, I could wait. I could wait. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> I'll purchase this after. So I don't like totally ruin makeup bingo by like ignoring 
what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I'm gonna go purchase this later. <laughs> And I'm also going to pick up some skincare too while I'm at it because it's been a minute since I uh, I had anything um, from Peach and Lily and I've always remembered liking their products. I like their glass skin shit and I think I need to re-up on some of their stuff. It's been a minute. So I'm going to call this even more skincare. I know it's not technically skincare because you're only really getting a bag and some wristbands, but it's meant for skincare and it has to count, right? Next. All right, that took way too long. Um, I was trying to purchase it and I purchased it, so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Okay, what's the next product? <laughs> Baby, um, listen, normally I would just be reading this a belt because I'm like, who gives a shit about Lori Geller? That was until I was converted over to the wonderful side of smooth textures. Uh <laughs> I like this. I like this. It's stupid. It's boring. It's basic. I want one of these palettes, not both. I like the pink Prosecco. That's cute. The other one, the Champagne Cheers is fine too, but the pink Prosecco is colors that I just, I could fuck with. I like pinks. I like that. Um, Laura Geller is, is fucking good. I know I have talked a lot of shit about this brand, probably more notably talking about how I think they're kind of boring, right? And y'all were cute, you know? <laughs> y'all were like, yeah, you're funny, but like the products are good. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then when the Wheel of Fortune shit came out, I was like, well, I kind of have to try it, right? Like it's for science, it's gonna be fun. But deep down, I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be good because something, a collab like that I don't think that they would waste their time with something that is going to be like you know like a makeup revolution thing for example right um and it kind of blew my expectations out of the water I'm not even I'm not even fucking with you I love those products they are so fucking good and I'm actually excited for this stupid basic bitch palette it's so dumb but I want it and I can't wait to fucking buy this <laughs> It retails for $25 and I'm like, that's a steal. <laughs> what I love about her shadows, especially from the Wheel of Fortune ship, is that they were so easy to use, so easy to blend, no patchiness, no nothing. Everything happened like, like that. Like it was just so good. It satisfied my soul. So seeing something like this, I'm like, Absolutely, fucking tootly I want it. I want it. Baked eyeshadow, sign me the fuck up. So I'm gonna call this um, an Anne palette because it's an Anne palette and we're gonna keep on keeping on, but I'm sorry that I spoke such ill of this brand, but now they're everything to me. <laughs> I still wanna try some of their big blushes. I don't know, probably do an order soon where I would love to pick this up along with some blushes. A lot of people were recommending their foundation. So I wanna try this stuff because I had a bad reaction back in 2018, but those days long gone, so. I'm excited. Uh, let's call this an Ann palette and we love mother. Okay. <laughs> no longer is Pat McGrath mother. No, it's Laura Geller, mother. <laughs> uh, next. Oh, she's cute. She's really cute. So Sugar Drizzle. is coming out with a palette that I have to say, I am really impressed that they're going in like a little bit of a different direction. Usually their palettes are the normal square. This is of the rectangular variety and I like it. Also, I like the I like the packaging. I think it's really cute. Elements of evil. How evil can this be when it looks so fucking sweet? <laughs> This looks cute. This palette has already come out. It retails for $52. And listen, I am an affiliate of this brand. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting this in PR, but this is something I would actually pick up with my own money. But if you're ever interested in wanting to check out the brand, use my code whew, garbage and you can save some money off your order. So, all right, what do you get here? This palette has four buttery mattes, three multi-chromes and five duochromes in our cult favorite formulas. Palettes are limited edition for Halloween. Da, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and a big thank you to Doodles by the Bunny for creating my vision for this palette. Oh, adorable. I like it. It's funny, now that I read that, it totally makes sense. Now I kind of get the vibe of it, but I love it. I like the multi-chromes. Usually their multi-chromes and their duochromes are really, really good. Their mattes, I will say for the most part, are pretty pretty good. There have been a couple palettes where the masks were like, oh, okay. But like my favorite palette of theirs though is the pickle palette. Oh my God, that shit was beautiful. Um, So yeah, I plan on picking this up. This is actually really adorable. If it's not gonna get sent to me in PR, that's totally fine. Cause I actually want to buy this. This looks like a fun Halloween palette. I'm kind of into it. And also what I like about it too, is that it's like not the standard, you know, fucking Halloween color story that we all come to know, you know, like the same fucking blacks and reds. And blah, 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 blah. Like it's really kind of cute and fun and it feels very trick or treaty. And I don't I like it. It's just, it's adorable. Again, how can something be so evil when it's so adorable? I just don't think it can be, um, but I like it. I think it's cute. I can't wait to try it. And the swatches look absolutely fucking delicious, especially that like teal one. Ooh, bitch. 
Yes, put it on my motherfucking face. But since we already have that square taken by Huda Beauty, we're just gonna say that it's all the multi crumbs, okay? All the multi crumbs. I like it. Next. Oh, these are so pretty. They're so dainty and so pretty, and I really want them. And I don't think I ever had anything from the brand Judy doll. It kind of sounds familiar, but also at the same time, it doesn't. So I don't know, I'm kind of like on the fence about like, why the fuck do I know this one? But anyway, Judy doll has new shades in their flower gradient ombre blushes. Oh, blushers, blushes. <laughs> <sighs> All right, anyway, they're $9 a piece. You have Whispering Flower Mist, Foggy Forest, Romantic Haruno, pretty sure I'm not saying that correctly and I apologize, and Daytime Sleepwalking. I like this. Ooh, the romantic one. <gasps> There's something about that purple and that red. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I like this. Anything that has an ombre blush, I am all over. And especially if it's going to be like a pinky purple situation, I want it even more. And I will not stop until it's in my hands. I just won't stop. <laughs> I like the packaging. I like how it's very, very simple. I love the gradients. Usually I feel like with blushes, the gradients are much more harsh. These are like soft little watercolor moments and I'm fucking here for it. So I like this. I like this a lot. I think this is really pretty and I kind of want to buy it. I think we need to try it for science. <laughs> How do I buy you? I don't know how I buy you, but I'll figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if Judy Doll is on Yes Style. Let's see, are they on Yes Style? Come on, Judy Doll. Not that I need to purchase from their website. Kind of hoping it's on Yes Style. Eh, eh, sorta, not really. <laughs> No ombre blushes, but maybe that means it's coming eventually. Oh no, no, <laughs> bitch, they have it, but they only have two colors. Fuck me, okay, 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 okay. Okay, petals cloud, fuck, petals cloud, peach cloud. Wait a second. Oh no, this, that's right, that's right. These are new shades. Okay, okay. I'm gonna bookmark this because next time I do a yes style order, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill for a second. I'm gonna chill and then I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pounce when this arrives. Okay, anyway, I love this. I think this is really cute and I'm gonna probably call this buying it for science because I kind of want to try it. And just looking quickly on yes style, there's a lot of cute shit that they have and I can't wait to um, put it all over my motherfucking face. So we're trying this bitch for science. Next. Okay, the next one is, uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm all set. Elf is coming out with the Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadow. They're eight bucks a piece. Great, great price point. I'm not gonna deny that. But these Duochrome Liquid eye Eyeshadows, sorry, not eyeliners, eyeshadows, with color shifting metallic finish, a long lasting Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadow that shifts colors in the light for a metallic, multi-dimensional eye look. Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadow shifts color in the light, high pigmented color with a bold metallic finish, ideal for creating trending multi-dimensional eye looks. Who the fuck wrote this copy? <laughs> wrote this. Okay. Long lasting gel based formula mesmerize on every angle. This duochrome eyeshadow is packed with reflective pigments to create bold metallic eye looks that shift and dazzle in the light. Formulated for long lasting and comfortable wear. I call bullshit on that. Uh, this <laughs> liquid eyeshadow delivers high pigment color and a gel based swipe across your lids to serve the intense multi-chrome effect you've seen all over your For You page. I love that TikTok is so fucking behind the times because now they're like, what? I'm a multi <laughs> so cute. It's so cute. Can't wait to see what else they fucking discover. But this one though, I say this is a no for me. This is an I rather not because I think when it comes to liquid eyeshadow, especially in the multi-chrome duochrome fashion, they're never good. Especially if you have hooded eyes, that shit will always be streaky and weird and gummy and it's just gonna look like your eyelids are dirty. I think the only one that knows how to do it right is from Natasha Denona, which I don't even think she fucking makes that shit anymore. Those were everything. That was the only liquid multi multi-chrome, not even a duochrome, multi-chrome that actually can withstand the test of time that you didn't need to put a fucking base on or anything like that. Like you could literally just put on one swipe and you were good to go and it was gonna last. I feel like I always get digmatized by these more drugstore brands that kind of come out with cool shit like this where it looks cool, it sounds cool, it's like, ooh, this is gonna be really fucking good and then to only be murdering my eyelids. Or it looks good for a millisecond because as soon as I blink, it's gone. And it's like, where the fuck did it go? So I kind of feel like this formula, I, I just can't trust it. And maybe I'm a pessimist, negative Nancy bitch, and that's, that's fine. And 
<laughs> but I know when it comes to liquid shadows, they are so hit or miss. I wish there was a brand that would be consistent. Actually, you know what? About Face, they make really, really good liquid shadows because one, their liquid shadows actually dry down super fast and they're pigmented and it lasts all day. It's been hard trying to find another brand that kind of comes similar to that, you know? Uh, they don't have any multi-chromes or anything like that or, or duo chromes. They just make like a really good shimmer shades or regular matte shades, but that's the only brand I could think of that actually like I could find with their liquid stuff um and still it kind of more operates as like a regular eyeshadow i feel like this stuff it just i don't know I don't, I don't think it's gonna be what you want it to be i think i think it's gonna have heavy claims and for the eight dollar price tag you're like oh that's not that bad i'll pick it up and if it's shit it's eight bucks not a big deal but um no we don't have time or money to waste in this economy we just don't so i just say no i'd rather not i'd rather not disappoint myself and have my eyelid burn as much as my asshole would burn if i ate boar's head three pepper cheese I don't want it. All right, so we're gonna just say, I know, oddly specific, but it, it's something that still resonates with me to this day. Ask Alex. Um, I'd rather not. Um, <laughs> I'd rather not, and let's call it a day. Listen, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot this brand even existed. I was like, who the fuck? Lime crime, lime crime? What the fuck have you been doing? So Lime Crime came out with some stuff. They came out with the Dark Rain Collection, where again, you have liquid luster eyeshadows. Ugh, we don't need that for 14 bucks a piece. Then we have the Wet Cherry Crush Gems Duo for $20, okay. Then you have this little Muse Squad. <laughs> Uh, uh -huh. Muse Quad, okay, for 20 And then you have the Majestic Mats Velveteen Lip Trio for $30. You know, Lime Crime, I feel like the last Lime Crime palette that was good was the Venus XL 2. That was a good palette. This one, that was a good palette. I think I'm still bitter about the Immortalis palette. To this day, that collection affects me. <laughs> uh, only when I remember it. <laughs> You know, so I mean, on one hand, I know I said I totally forgot they existed and that's true. But then when I'm reminded of their existence, I immediately go back to that place where I just fucking hate them. And hate's a strong word, but I hate them, all right? <laughs> because they came out with a palette that was so beautiful that just embodied the goth child living inside of me. And when I got that palette in my hands, it was glorious. It was beautiful. It was everything that I wanted it to be. But then I tried it and I realized there was no pigmentation. There was no pigmentation. There was nothing. There was fu nothing. It was nothing. There was nothing. It was nothing. Nothing. And it fucking irks the shit out of me because it's like, how did you do that? How did you make an eyeshadow palette that has no pigmentation? It looks like there's a black in there. There's no pigmentation. Oh, is that possible? How is that possible? But if you want to send me PR, no, I'm gonna, no, actually, I, I don't want, I would never accept PR. I'm so mad. I'm so mad about it still. I'm such a bitch. And I know this is probably some people's favorite brands and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that that's what you like. Anyway, um, yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I forget that they exist. And now that I'm reminded of their existence, I'm pissed. I'm annoyed. And this is a no. I I don't even want to dignify any of the squares to this shit. Bye. You're nothing. Next. Oh, speak of the fucking devil. Okay, so about face, right? Because I was literally just talking about their little liquid eyeshadows. They're coming out with smoke sticks. I am intrigued. So these are gonna retail for $17 a piece and they're a two-in-one creamy shadow stick and powder eyeshadow combo designed to create a smoky eye. Okay, bitch. I, that orange, that brown orange one is speaking to me between that and the green one and the purple one and the black one and the blue. Okay, so all of them kind of are speaking to me, which is really, really nice. Plus, I feel like this is an interesting concept and I haven't seen anything like this. So I I kind of want to try these uh, whenever they do come out. I like About Face. I think they're fun. I like their eyeliners. I like their little liquid shadows. Their lip products are fucking good. Like I haven't had a bad thing from them. So I'm kind of really excited about this. But again, it's like one of those products where I don't think I'm going to go out of my way for. I think if I see you in Ulta, I'll pick you up. Because I know like if you have gone to Ulta, the Ulta is in Central Florida, but there's always like a little About Face section. And the About Face section usually has like a little bit of everything. Go check it out. I know it's kind of hidden. Sometimes it's kind of like hidden next to like the beauty tools and you kind of like maybe like walk past it because like you don't realize that it's like a little makeup thing but when I tell you while yes they might look kind of forgettable they are small but mighty and I really really like what they've been fucking putting out so I'm intrigued to try this again I wouldn't go out of my way for it because it's just like well I do think it's kind of innovative right for the shit that we have been getting I know me and I'll say that I'll order it and then I'll probably forget about it 
probably forget about it. So it's kind of nice to be able to see it out in person because they're like, oh yeah, that fucking thing and I want to buy it that way. I like it. I think it's cool. I'm kind of interested to try it because so far everything has been great from About Face, but also like, I don't necessarily need to have this. But you know what? I say that, but then I'm like, their liquid shadows are so good. Like, bitch, you're just being too hard today. I think I'm just still reeling from line crime. <sighs> <laughs> No, I'm gonna pick these up. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I feel bad. I'm gonna pick these up. Why do I feel bad? No, I'm gonna wait for them. I'm gonna wait for them to come into the store. But what if they never come into the store? <gasps> then I'll never get to try them and I'll be lost forever. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I like them. I think they're fun. I'm also just so curious to see how the fuck they actually work. It's intriguing. Okay, we need to try these. This is like a try for science moment. Also, I'm fighting myself. What is wrong with me? <laughs> to be continued. I don't think I can call us anything except you're, you're a fucking idiot. Shut up now. Next. The next product is from, ooh, LYS Beauty. They have a little, uh, little holiday sets. Oh, these are cute. Okay. I don't know if they're at Sephora. Let's see. Are they at Sephora? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it doesn't look like they are, which kind of sucks. Uh, because I think maybe the blush trio is, but I don't think anything else is. You could definitely pick that up at Sephora. And maybe the one, the Speak Love lip oil and lipstick set. I think those are the only two that you could pick up. Everything else you'd probably have to pick up on the LYS website. I like LYS. The few products that I have tried for them, um, they, I don't know, like they're, they're not like my most favorite thing, but they're not uh, something that I hate. It's kind of like in the middle, but something that I would totally pick up in the future for sure. So I definitely think sets like this are worth checking out the brand if you have never tried them in general. I really like the looks of these sets because the price points, one, are perfect. The cheapest one being $19, and that is the lip set. Then you have the three matte liquid lips for $29. The blushes are for $22. And then they have like a five-piece brush set for $42, which is fucking way better than Westman Atelier. Um, so yeah, if you were ever interested in wanting to kind of check out LYS, especially like the cream blushes, I say get it at Sephora, especially during the sale. Um, cause if you can get like 10, 15 or 20% off, like a little product for 20 bucks, like that's pretty fucking good. And those colors look absolutely divine. So, so yeah, I like this. It's not my favorite holiday release so far, but I think this is like a practical one. It makes sense. And I like the price point. So I'm cool with that. Um, I don't think I can call us anything except good job. <laughs> Your marketing team did a good job. Good job, marketing team. Um, yeah, next. <laughs> All right, y'all are gonna think that I'm off my rocker and it's fine, because I am. Uh <laughs> So I bought this um, and I only bought this because of the packaging. The packaging is everything. So Heretic Parfume or Parfum or whatever came out with this fucking candle called Dirty Gingerbread. And I didn't even think twice. I saw it and I went, yep, gotta have it. And I purchased it. Now apparently this has relaunched and I did pick it up for 44 bucks because the candle is normally $70, uh, which is so fucking expensive for a candle. Do I think I'm gonna light this? Probably not. I don't even think I'm gonna take it out of the fucking box to be honest with you, because that box is everything. I think I'm at the point in my life where now I'm just collecting weird shit. <laughs> I'm collecting things that really just don't make any sense. For example, I believe it was Maria who was able to find the little McDonald's nail polish from Austria and she found them, she sent them to me and we have just been happy ever since. So thank you, Maria. But I think I'm just at that point where <laughs> I just want weird shit in my life. I want this. I want my fucking bedazzled EOS lip balm. Okay. I have a couple of dick lipsticks. Like, I am just that bitch that's just gonna have weird things in our collection so we can go, oh yeah. Or, hey, how about this little guy from Hip Dot? This stupid fucking eyeshadow <laughs> shape of Oscar the Grouch. I love weird shit. And this channel is all about weird shit in general. <laughs> Even though YouTube says I can't really say it. Anyway, so when I see something like this, I'm like, <laughs> I gotta have it. Um, plus, I just thought it was the cutest fucking... <laughs> It's as cute as you can get with putting bondage on a gingerbread cookie. Um, I love it. I think it's so funny. There's also a Dirty Santa one, which I'll put right here. I almost picked that one up, but I thought, no, 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 one's enough. <laughs> one's enough. But if it ever does go on sale, you best believe I will pick that one up because that would be pretty funny to like leave out in my living room. Uh, so when people come over, they can be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> 
Anyway, I love this. I think this is fucking everything. And I'm so happy that I picked this up. I feel nothing but immense buckets of joy. <laughs> because I am a dirty, dirty bitch. And this is so cute. So cute. Um, but I'm curious to know how good it smells because it actually sounds pretty good. Raw burnt sugar, Madagascar vanilla, spicy ginger, black pepper, cloves, nutmeg, tonka bean, and leather. It just sounds cool. It sounds kind of like sexy. Sexy, but also like home for the holidays, but also put a ball gag in my mouth. I'm fucking here for it. <laughs> so I already bought it. So we're gonna call this already bought it. Next. Oh, this is really cute. I like this, but I like this. <laughs> So Essence Cosmetics is coming out with the Merry Xmas, my dear. And it's cute. There's a lip balm, a highlighter, a glitter lip beautifier. I don't know what the fuck that means. A nail polish topper, eyeshadow stick, liquid blush, false lashes, and nail stickers. I love the dear lip balm and it's kind of cute. And it kind of makes me want to buy it a little bit just because I like weird shit. But it's kind of, this is, I guess it's not really weird. This is more like too cutesy, kind of Claire's makeup. But like, I also kind of love it too. It's cute. It's cute, but it kind of feels kiddish. But again, I would pick it up. <laughs> I would pick it up though. Um, but the highlighter looks fun. The liquid blush looks fucking great. I love that color. That color looks so good. But everything else is kind of a miss. I don't really give a shit that much about it. But overall though, I think this is a pretty adorable collection, which, oh, by the way, I did actually pick up the Wet n Wild uh, holiday collection as well as the uh, LA Girl. So I'm gonna be doing uh, videos. Well, I kind of am saving all the Christmas stuff, honestly, for November because I feel like October is just like one big spooky season for me. I don't wanna dip into Christmas quite yet. So all of that stuff will be featured next month um but i'm i'm excited anyway um i like this and i think if i saw this uh in ulta you know i would definitely uh, fucking pick it up if i saw it on the end cap but again it's one of those products i just wouldn't go out of my way for it's cute and i'm, I'm probably gonna like it but like i don't think it's gonna be that revolutionary that makes sense i think that makes sense i'm gonna call this nothing because this is nothing it's very very dramatic but <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> next Oh, bitch. Mom's back. All right, Pat McGrath will be mother. Laura Geller's mom. She's mom, or she's ma. Okay, well maybe we'll call her ma. Um. <laughs> no, she's mom. Laura Geller's mom. Uh, so mom is out here with some, <laughs> she's out in these streets with this baked blush and bronze marbleized two-in-one. Girl, I'm sold. I'm sold. I love a good bronzer moment, whether it's from Bare Minerals or Iconic London or who else had one just recently? I can't fucking remember, but that brand too. <laughs> I love a good blush and bronzer moment. So it's described as get out the door faster with this baked blush and bronze, a marbleized powder that combines the warmth of a bronzer and the soft flush of a blush to deliver a naturally radiant look. With an ultra soft, smooth texture, this buildable powder blends seamlessly into the skin to enhance your skin's luminosity in one convenient compact. There you glow. Oh, that's fucking adorable. Okay. So you have the shade Earthy Bronze, which is a light pink brick, soft bronze, and deep bronze. Berry Bronze, a soft cream, warm coral, rich mulberry, and bronze. Or you have a Tropical Bronze, which is warm apricot, bright pink, and bronze. I need to see swatches of these things because I don't know where I fall. So that's the one thing is that while I am, you know, <laughs> getting to know Laura, um, <laughs> getting to know my mom, um, I need to know like where the fuck do I fit? Where, where do I fit? Because all that sounds good, but I don't know, like maybe only one of those are, are meant for me or it's all, I don't know. So I'm gonna go do some investigative Gail Weathers reporting and I will figure that shit out because I'm obsessed. I'm telling you y'all, that Wheel of Fortune palette, it did something to me. It changed my, <laughs> It changed my chemical makeup. It really did, okay? I, I I don't know what the fuck happened. It maybe got mixed into my blood somewhere. I'm into it. I fucking love this thing. <laughs> it gives me all the joy, okay? That stupid palette gives me all the joy. So I need to try more products from them. I am a woman of a certain age, you know? <laughs> anyway, I love this. I can't call this anything except put this on my motherfucking face right now. And we already took that spot, so sorry. Next. Ooh, hello, Laura. 
Lawless. Hi, bitch. I like Lawless too. She's a fun girl. She really is. And this is kind of really exciting. So there is a queen size, a jumbo queen size, forget the filler lip plumper line smoothing gloss. And it's already out. So I say, listen, fucking pick it up during the Sephora sale for sure. These retail for 38 bucks. They're ultra shiny gloss with immediate and long term softening, hydrating, invisibly plumping benefits. Ooh. And the shades Milkshake, Daisy Girl, and Cherub. I kind of am sad that it, they don't have that purple shade that I fucking love, that lilac. Like, I, my name is Bunny and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my fourth fucking husband shade. That's a good one. But the other shades look pretty fucking good though. Especially Daisy Girl and Milk shit. Actually, all of them look really, really good. Uh, but I'm into this. I like this. And I... You know what? I wanted to get another one of these anyway. So I think I'm just going to pick one up during the sale and probably pick up Daisy Girl. I like the pink. The pink I could fuck with. Ooh, she's so good. She's so frosty. Oh, she's so frosty. We love a frosty moment here. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up Daisy Girl for sure. Lawless makes fantastic products. If you haven't seen my Sephora recommendations video, first of all, bitch, it's an hour and a half. Okay, I don't fuck around. And I'm sweet enough where I break shit up into chapters. So like, you don't have to like watch the whole fucking thing. Like every Everything has its own section. I you know, like I'm just so, so nice. <laughs> fucking pat myself on the back. Um, but anyway, this is really great. <laughs> and I love this. It makes me very, very happy. Um, so I can't wait to pick one of these up. Grandpa's ashes never tasted so good. I, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Love this. Can't wait to put this all over my face. Or my lips, really. My face would be kind of sticky and, and weird, but at least it's not burning. Cause that's the one thing I will say, right? If you're gonna take away anything from this weird lawless rant. <laughs> If you have been wanting to find a lip plumper without having that burning asshole sensation, this is the best one. This has no burn whatsoever. It has no burn and it makes your lips just look plump and juicy and just amazing. I don't know why other companies cannot get it together, but it's fine because you don't need those other companies. You just need Lawless. So fuck with Lawless. They're so good. They're so good. I love them. I love them. Love them. Okay. I don't think I can call this anything except I want it. Give it to me now. Next. Okay, ma'am. Tell me why Drunk Me would totally buy this. <laughs> if Drunk Me had that kind of fucking money. Oh my God, okay, so hold on. Dior is coming up with their advent calendar. It's 750 fucking dollars. It's $750. And this is one of those purchases that I could see myself getting drunk and being like, it's a good investment. <laughs> I'm just picking this up when we all know this is not a good investment, okay? But I'm not gonna lie though, some of the products that you do see, they look full size. They look full size. They look full size and that makes me happy. It really does. You have the Le Mini um, Holiday Discovery Set for 160 bucks. I don't know what you get in that one, but it's something. Then you have the Fragrance Makeup and Skin Care for 480. Oh my God, God damn. Then you have the Candle Trio for 195. Just 195, oh, so cheap. <laughs> Then you have a fucking one that comes with a little clutch <gasps> for $2.90. Ooh, oh, that's fun. Oh, I like that. Oh, I did actually see that on TikTok. It really did look cute. It did look cute. It's not practical, but it looks cute though. Like <laughs> Usually clutches are not practical anyway. And with cell phones being as big as a fucking computer, they're hard to fit in a clutch. So like clutches are just not practical in my opinion, but I still admire its beauty. <laughs> then you have the Dior Addict, which it looks like you get a lipstick and the case, the cases. I talked about in my Sephora video, fucking the Dior Addict cases are everything. They're so beautiful. You take that shit out, people will stop and ask you, where did you get that? And you're gonna say, none of your business, peasant. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? And then you just apply your lipstick. It turns you into a monster, but don't we want that in makeup? Uh <laughs> of course, then we have the Dior Favorite set, which has the lip glow oil in it. Then there's a Miss Dior Perfect Duo set for 175 and Attic Lip Makeup for eight. I, I don't, I'm kind of just getting lost with all the different things and the different prices. And I wish this was like a, a much cleaner post, but it's not. But I'm not gonna lie though, that fucking advent calendar though. <laughs> The advent calendar is calling me. It's it's calling me and it's begging me to say, zip, zip, put your credit card in. 
we gotta buy this. We gotta see if it's worth it. And I kind of feel like it might be worth it. It's not like that one, what was it? Was it Chanel? It came out with an advent calendar that was like garbage. I think it was like literally like um, a sticker. I forgot, it was like, I think like a thousand dollars or something like that. It was something like ridiculous and it just, there was nothing. There was nothing that was cool about it. But this looks fun. This looks fun. If I can get like a full list though of like knowing exact, oh, that one box though. Oh, Fuck me. Okay, I kind of want something. And the more that I drink, the more I'm gonna think that it's a good idea. There's no way I could do the 750 one. Like that's fucking, that's, that's wild. But one that's 400, no. <laughs> no, I don't have that kind of money. Uh-uh. But drunk me doesn't worry about it. <laughs> That's sober Teresa's problem. Um, no, I, I want this, I do. But then I could, you know what I could do? I could just buy these items separately. Just during the Sephora sale. Because I've been eyeing that bright pink blush from Dior for a hot minute. And now that I see it in one of these sets, it makes me want it. But in theory, I could just buy all of these products separately and still not spend as much money as one of these fucking sets. But I won't have a clutch though which will make me sad. I'm gonna say Drunk Me would buy this because Drunk Me is, is being irrational right now. And she's almost winning, but she can't, but she's almost winning. <laughs> Next. Oh, I like this. I like this. So Estee Lauder is coming out with a collection that is actually retailing for $36 and you get a hot pink mini bag. <gasps> I kind of want it. It's that's first of all, the price is so fucking good compared to Dior, which is an arm and a leg. Uh, this looks so nice. And plus I like the little clutch bag, the mini hot bag. That's so cute. Again, I wish it was like designed a little bit more as a makeup bag. Cause like this really feels like a clutch, like I would take out with me. Me, which I mean like how many fancy soirees am I going to? Not really. You can't really take this to a cheddar. You know? <laughs> anyway, I love cheddars. Uh, okay, so this one. So what do you get in this $36 collection? Okay, with statement making shades, striking color, long wearing, lip adoring, this four piece collection includes a refillable pure lipstick plus two refills all in a unique hot pink mini bag. So you have pure color cream lipstick, which is in a full size, rebellious rose, a mid-tone rose with a neutral undertone, pure color matte lipstick refill in the shade Love Bite, a soft pink with a warm undertone, or your Power Kiss, which is a rich vibrant berry with a neutral undertone. Oh, that's cute. And then they have like a limited edition night repair serum, pink ribbon version of whatever for like $125. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. I don't fuck with that serum, but I, I like the bottle. The bottle's fun. I like the colors of the lipsticks. I don't really fuck with Love Bite so much, but Power Kiss and Rebellious Rose are just calling my name. And I kind of want to try it because I like it. That kind of makes me happy. But I like this. I think this is really good. Again, I love the price point. And I think for $36, it's not breaking the bank. And um, you know, I haven't had something from Estee Lauder in a minute other than that horrible, horrible highlighter duo or that highlighter contour duo. So like, I'm still kind of salty about that for sure. <laughs> Maybe not as salty as fucking lime grime, but still salty though. Um, so I kind of like this. I think I might pick it up. It all comes down to the bag and I just want the bag. <laughs> but I like the lipstick though. I like the colors. I think the cause is great. It's for breast cancer. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you haven't, check your titties, okay? Make sure your titties are good. We need to make sure that we're all good, okay? So I kind of want to get it. I think I might get it. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think I can call it anything except I think I might get it. Next. The next product is from, ooh, Ritual Defee. Okay, I love Ritual Defee and I am affiliated with them. If so, if you ever want to check anything out from the brand, use the code. <laughs> Teresa 10. You can get 10% off your order. Now with that said, they came out with two color nectar pigment bombs in the shade Ghost Flower and Weeping Cherry. And they look good. They look good. Any of the nectar bombs are fucking amazing. I have them all. I love them. I love them to pieces. They make some of my favorite cream blush formula, cream highlighter formula, especially if you're looking for like a really celestial alien slut moment, which draws so much attention to your face. It's not even funny, but also like kind of amazing because everybody should look at you, um, but also don't look at me. <laughs> I love Ritual Defeat. I think they make such fantastic products. And plus, <laughs> bitch, I mean, come on. My thorn oil is my friend. It's my baby. So uh, that said, I just think these colors are beautiful. And I did not get this in PR, but they're colors that I'm actually going to pick up if it's still available. You can get the bundle for 42 or you can get each one for 26. And uh, yeah, listen, they speak to me. They speak to me so much. The Vintage Burgundy, it's such a deep color. I'm so curious how that's gonna look on my skin tone. I'm so curious, I'm so curious. I love it. I love it. Ritual Defeat does no wrong. They really don't. And I just, ugh, I'm just in love with them. I really am. Hmm. Oh, I have a little left. All right. 
Anyway, I like this. I don't think I can call these anything except I'm gonna buy them eventually. <laughs> ah, anyway, next. The next product is from, ooh, Hell Bites Beauty. I have never heard of this brand before, but it's Hell Bites Beauty. And what exactly? Oh, cruelty free beauty for all ghouls. Oh, bitch, that's so cute. That is so cute. I like that. So, what exactly is this? What is this? This is the Cottage Witch Collection. So the whole bundle retails for $85. So you're kind of getting it at a discount because normally it's $105. The Cottage Witch Palette is $45, which I gotta say, that's actually a really good price point considering how big the fucking palette is. Like that's pretty good. Then you get the Lash Book for $30. I don't even fucking like lashes, but the book is everything. The book I could fuck with. Then there's Metallic Lipsticks for $14.99. Eh, not really for me. I think this is so fucking cute. Okay, so I'm kind of like on the fence here because I love the packaging of like the lash book. The lash book is amazing. But the palette though, I hate palettes where the tops come off completely. As someone who has way too much fucking makeup and a horrible Alex drawer system, which don't you ever fucking get one of them. Don't you ever get one of them. They're awful. They're fucking awful. I hate them. Like I literally hiss at it. I hate them. So I've spent so much money on them and they're all falling apart. I don't even overstuff the fucking drawers. Like I, I'm such a good baby. I try to take care of them and they still fuck me every time, but whatever, we're not talking about that. Anyway, as someone who does have a lot of makeup and Alex drawers that really suck ass, I find that when I have palettes that have tops that completely come off, there's a good fucking chance that it will fly off and the palette gets all fucked up. Case in point that happens with Creature Cosmetics. Their palettes, cute. But again, don't really like the packaging and it usually just kind of gets fucked up and it's just, ugh. it's like you kind of have to remember to store it in its box and sometimes I'll keep the box, sometimes I kind of forget. So like that is just, it irks the shit out of me. I could be wrong, kind of hard to tell. I need to see a picture of, like I need to see like the full palette of this because I can't tell if it actually bends back. Yeah, I don't think it bends back. I think it literally just comes up. That fucking sucks. See, that's what makes me kind of like go, uh, I don't want to commit to something because I just know it's just going to fucking fall off and it's just going to irk the shit out of me. Or I kind of wish actually it was like in a book format. I think that would have been really cool. That would have been fucking great. I love the color story. I think it's so pretty, but I just not a huge fan of the packaging. I'm gonna see if anybody did like any um, YouTube videos or whatever. Cause I'm curious to see if, if anyone does have it, if there's like a review of it out there. Cause I wanna see. Cause sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know if it's connected or it's... <laughs> And to me, that's a big deal. I don't want it to be ruined and that's gonna make me sad. Um, but yeah, this is cute. Never heard of Hellbites Beauty before and I really like this color story. Sometimes big palettes can just feel a little bit too much. This one doesn't. This one just like, it makes fucking sense. I'm into it. I fucking like it. So um, yeah, I need to do a little bit more investigative reporting on this one, but so far, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I don't think I can call us anything. Next. Okay, um, this is fucking ridiculous because I, I only have one more product left and we are nowhere near hitting bingo. This was annoying. <laughs> this was fucking annoying. I just finished my drink. Since we only have one more product left, how the fuck did that happen? I'm just gonna have a little baby drink. And I'm gonna finish it off camera. <laughs> as I export all this footage onto the computer. All right, so let's talk about this product. It's from JLo. <sighs> Every time I see a picture of Ben Affleck, he looks like a dad at the end of his vacation in the Orlando airport. <laughs> Hmm. It just makes me giggle every time. Um, but I see this and I'm like, what is this? This, first of all, this looks like such a copycat of Lawless. It's not even funny. This is the Besso Balm Ultra Hydrating Lip Mask. An ultra hydrating anytime mask that delivers a smoother, plumper look for kissable lips with a glossy, finished, buttery, vanilla scented mask. Seals in moisture without a trace of stickiness for $19. Uh, price point sounds fine, you know, for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay with all my lip stuff that I got. I when did I become like Southern? <laughs> it's like, you can tell it's like the end of the episode. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I don't think this is something that I need to pick up or even want to even explore further. I don't know, anything with JLo, like her skincare line or whatever, I'll see it in Sephora. There's no one near it. 
actually next time I go into Sephora I'm gonna see if there's any dust on it because I'm convinced that nobody even fucking touches it or even looks at it all right I'm so fucking convinced there must be a light layer of dust on those products because I never see anybody talk about it or anything like that um yeah I, I think I'm just more thrown off with the fact that this looks so much like lawless and that's not cool. I don't like that. Lawless has a lip mask, which I plan on picking up <laughs> during the Sephora sale. So I think that's what I'm gonna pick up instead uh, of this one. But yeah, I mean, it sounds fine, you know, but I don't give a shit about this brand. And this is kind of another one that I forget exists until I see it. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Actually, do you remember what's the one brand that Scarlett Johansson has? Was it Offset or something? That's another brand too. And the only reason why I just thought about that is because I'm like trying to think of other brands that I can completely forget about. And that's another one. <laughs> A lot of these skincare companies from these celebrities, it's just like, really? really bitch i don't know i just kind of think that they're so cash grabby and whatever but i haven't seen anything of interest and i'm curious to see if there's ever going to be any like real makeup products but so far with all of their skincare shit it's just it's just not it's just not for me it's just it's just it's just a no it's just a no um but uh like i said i am going to call this a uh, major copycat vibes because it reminds me of lawless in every fucking way possible from like the kind of pinky cap to like the frosted base like it just it looks like lawless like lawless is this you like nope an imposter um and i hate it <laughs> fucking hate it mm -mm. major copycat vibes yuck gross bye okay that was irritating <laughs> That was irritating. How did I not do anything? How did I not hit bingo? Ugh. Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if there's anything that you're gonna be picking up during this bingo, or if you're like me where you're like, no, no, I don't like any. <laughs> Except for the Laura Geller stuff. Let me know, cause I love hearing from you. And of course, definitely go check out my friend Imperfectly M. And with that said, I wanna say, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that. Hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting. Garbage but a float, I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces, and I just wanna gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you wanna know what's currently in my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below, and I'll see you, little cupcakes, later. Bye.